What is up guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a little event that happened quite a while ago. I believe it was in the second semester of grade 11, but basically in this video, I'm gonna be covering how I was able to get early access to all of the test answer keys, including the final exam answer keys and everything. So before I dive into this video, I wanna make it clear that this video is only for educational and entertainment purposes. I'm making this video purely to educate people on how to prevent their stuff from being hacked, which is why I'm going to be briefly covering how I was able to do this and I'll be including a brief overview of what I did on my desktop so I hope you guys enjoy so it was about the second semester of grade 11 all through high school I was really interested in penetration testing and hacking and like every teenager I thought it'd be cool to try to hack into my grade system and change my grades and I actually did end up doing this as I showed in one of my previous videos if you guys haven't seen that you can go and check it out I was able to change my grades accordingly even though I chose not to because I didn't want to risk facing the consequences of getting caught after this point I thought it was time to step up my game, so I made it my goal to attempt to retrieve all the answer keys for all the tests and the assignments. In doing these things, I still refrained from cheating as I didn't believe that it was right to cheat through high school as I wanted to earn my grades. But by the end of the semester, I'd eventually achieved my goal of retrieving all the answer keys to all the tests, and I'm making this video to explain how easy it is. Now one thing I've learned over the years of hacking is that your success is majorly dependent on your ability to socially engineer. Social engineering is a huge component in hacking and can make it way easier in retrieving information. If you guys don't know what social engineering is in hacking, it's basically taking advantage of a person by manipulating them to give away their personal information. An example of this would be a phishing page where someone claims to be part of the Facebook management team and they send you a password reset email to a fake login page where when you log in, the attacker will receive your credentials. That's an example of social engineering. They're manipulating you to believe the email is from an actual Facebook team member where it's actually an attacker posing as someone who works for Facebook. So yeah, if I have one tip for preventing a hacker, it'd be don't be gullible online and be extra cautious whenever you're downloading something or entering in any of your credentials online. Make sure it's from an official source. So I first had to figure out where our teachers were hosting these assignments and tests. So I noticed in class one day when we were marking our tests that our teacher had pulled the answer key from a specific directory in which seemed to be hosted on a Windows server. At first I suspected that all of the keys and assignments were hosted on a server that was dedicated to only teachers that could be accessed over the teacher Wi-Fi as it had always been locked. But then I figured that they wouldn't have such low security to where all you need is a Wi-Fi password to access the keys, so I blew off that idea pretty quick. I figured we at least had strong enough security where I had to have direct access to my teacher's computer in order to access these files. But I also knew that they were hosted on a server and that other teachers had direct access to them. Because of this, I figured the best course of action would be to gain direct access to my teacher's computer, but I knew I'd never conveniently be able to have access to my teacher's computer for long enough to browse through his files and determine where these files were saved. So I knew that I had to do everything remotely. I had this one class where there was a computer that was logged onto an administrator account. It was technically one of my teacher's computers, and he let us use it for specific collaborative assignments. And I knew that I'd have access to this computer for long enough to do something. So I went home and I grabbed my bad USB, my USB rubber ducky, and I programmed a script to put an undetectable backdoor file onto the computer within seconds. And I actually have a video on how to do that exact thing on this channel, so you guys should go and check that out. I'll link it down below. But anyways, yeah, I programmed a rubber ducky script, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a, a USB that looks like a thumb drive, but it's actually a keyboard, and it types in a series of code, which in this specific case was able to download a file that I had hosted online onto their computer and infect within seconds so that I was able to have remote access to their computer. Keep in mind that this computer is left logged in basically 24 seven, so I was able to browse through it whenever I pleased. Once I was connected to this computer through a interpreter session, I remembered knowing the name to the file of one of our assignments. So I opened up the command prompt through this interpreter backdoor session, and I used the command to search for that specific file name so that it'd take me to the directory of which it was downloaded. And sure enough, the file was there along with all the other keys to our tests, including the final exam key. Now I didn't open any of these files because I didn't want to mess with them, I didn't want to get backtraced or risk anything, but I was able to successfully penetrate the server in which our final exam answer key was hosted. As you guys can tell, it wasn't very hard to do. Just took a few simple hacking techniques, which you can learn how to do on my channel. And from that, I was 
I was able to basically, I could have cheated my way through high school. Now guys, again, I'm making this video for the sole purpose of education and entertainment. I don't want you guys trying any of this. If you're a teacher or if you're a parent, then you should be aware of what your kids are doing on their computers. And if you're a teacher, then you should be extra cautious of who's using your computer and make sure that your system is up to date along with your antivirus software. So that basically sums up the story of how I was able to grab the answer key to the final exam along with the answer keys to all of my other assignments. Um, I think it's kind of dumb how low of security uh, they make that. I think that the answer keys in the final exam should not be hosted in the same directory and I think that there should be more security uh, when it comes to hosting what could lead to a student's success online. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this story time, make sure to give this video a like. And if you guys want to understand more about how this kind of stuff works, just go check out some of my other content because I pretty much have tutorials for everything that I've explained so far in this video. And again, my last video, how I was able to hack my school's grade panel, I also have a video on how I did that. That was also really, it was actually way easier than this video. So you guys can go check that out. Again, don't be gullible online. Don't try this at home. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. If you guys enjoyed, please subscribe, give me a like, comment. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.